when you often think about like the darkest times of all time there's just basically moments where i often think about wanting to just simply look back and just reflect about those moments that i've always had you know there's often times where i felt very angry at the world where i felt lost lonely where i just feel so arrogant i just the world that's throwing out at me there's often times i blame the whole world maybe even blame god for all these things that i'm going through during most of those times and as of these days whenever i felt very angry at the world whenever i just want to just feel the sense of rage where i just want to punch a brick wall till my knuckles could bleed it's like how can i make this how can i just resist to this resentment because there's often times where i often feel very resentful in those moments where i would often envy people you know remember i would go mind mindlessly scrolling on social media and it was around the summer of 2023 it was around this time i think it was like out of town or some shit like that and <clears throat> I started to get a huge realization like I would often like scroll through Instagram and I would just see so many people on Instagram trying to go out with people trying to go out partying fucking and trying to go out with like huge amounts of people and I kind of just would envy those those times because there, there's often moments where I just wish like I wish I could have just went out with people I wish I could have had a group of people and I've always had this feeling like I just always wanted to fit in with people and I just wanted to be accepted and validated because the people that I wanted to be with they don't they're just nothing like me they're just like these beta you know these beta male guys so it's it's one of those like biggest things that i've always been struggling during those moments you know in my periods of monk mode around like this huge self-improvement depression you know and out of all this stage is i remember like back in my years in college it's just like and right now i'm in college right now and i just would often get distracted a lot like i would often get distracted on social media i'm very on social media on instagram i'd often be looking up girls all the time and i'd often be looking up a bunch of guys that go to like really good universities and i would just see them just boasting and just like posting pictures with a bunch of girls in there and there's often moments where i often would find that attractive and it's just i still see to this day like i see many people who got the thing that they wanted all right, so let's get back to talking. If you guys ever want to feel free to check out for more videos, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications on. If you guys ever want to get closer to me, then feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as well, if you actually want to get in touch with the whole entire community, then feel free to join the Discord server, which will be in the link in the description below. And why not me? And I asked myself this time, because I remember I told this to someone, it was at school, I think it was in my high school, it was like when I was in my junior year of high school, I told this to someone, I think it was like back in class and I told her something that kind of just made her, I don't know, I, I don't know if it just made her feel shocked or anything like that. Why do good people get the bad things and why do bad people get the good things? Why do bad people get the things that they deserve? Because every now and then we often perceive in Hollywood that every good guy would always win and that the bad guy will always lose. But when I think about it in real life, it just seems a bit more reversal it just seems like it's just not it's just like not the same as it is right and this implies with relationships and, and and romantic relationships that you really want to get inside you know it's like where where the guy would always get rejected by the girl several several times and he eventually gets the girl and that's not how it is in real life you know and i start realizing this that when you're into the real world it's Yes, it's scary, but it's just like I often see that sometimes the bad people are mostly the selfish people. Then it's always good to be selfish. I just hate the fact where we've been told to just be more humble and to respect other people. And yeah, we should always respect other people. We should always have humility. But at the same time, I believe that we should always as well be selfish. That we should also be angry, but not to the point where we have to express out of anger. Like we also have to remain more stoic and to it's as well like wield that anger inside of you like no don't hurt anyone don't do anything harmful but at the same time keep it to yourself maybe have a journal maybe write about your feelings because the truth is you can't always control your feelings right you, there's a difference between emotions and feelings right because when it comes to emotions it's basically what you would express yourself to right 
It's what you express yourself that people can see you to do, right? But with feelings, it's just something that's inside. It's like with motivation, right? Because you can't control your feelings, but you can control your emotions. Motivation, I mean, feelings and emotions, they're basically not the same thing. They're basically two different things. Like emotion is basically like what you express yourself to that others could actually end up viewing you as. And feelings is something that is basically inside of you that correlate to your emotions. So there's basically often moments where I often realize that sometimes bad people actually get what they want. You know, we've been perceived in Hollywood that, you know, the rich people are evil people. Like we've often been perceived by how rich people are actually evil people, right? And that broke people are actually good people. And in fact, yeah, there may be some rich people who are evil people. Like if you think about like these evil entrepreneurs trying to destroy the entire like human population with like all these sugary snacks and all the shit shitty stuff that's wrapped in plastics, video game developers and and you know, entertainment industries and Hollywood. Like yeah, I guess I can guarantee those are evil entrepreneurs. But there's basically good entrepreneurs out here who's willing to actually make a positive impact into the world. So it's really confusing because like everywhere I go, I often meet like very successful people, like very like wealthy people. And they're really good people, though. I find them to be very like fascinating people and they seem to be really good people. Sure, there may be some who are really bad who's trying to destroy the world and make the world into a, a worse place. Just like when you see like these porn companies, right? Like they're trying to destroy the whole world, right? And when you think about broke people, like, it's it's really sad because, like, I remember I used to work at a fast food restaurant and I would see this customer yell out at me and he would scream at me and he's, like, in his 30s and 40s. And I felt really bad for him because it's just, it, it gives me a huge wonder, like, I don't want to be this type of person who's just in his 30s and 40s just trying to bitch and moan and complain. And it's just really sad because I just fantasize, like, what if I were to end up like this person? And... Because I just don't want to be that person who's just always angry at the world, expressing out of emotion, out of hate and anger. You know, I want to remain more stoic and calm. And I think that's what a lot of like masculine men are basically meant to be. And sure, like we often go through a lot. We often go through so much shit, but it's just that we don't have to just express ourselves too much based upon it. Based upon it. And it's really dark the way we view the world it's just really dark the way the society has just been plagued by us you know there's often times that there's just so many things that just really is in our control and the only thing that we can only control is our emotions and i know i can't really control what the world really has to throw out at me every time i mean i was really lonely as fuck back like in my middle school years and i've always wanted to fit in with people i even back like when i was younger i ended up in a sped class and i just got in a class with a bunch of people who i just cannot relate to and it's what led me to the, my downfall to loneliness but at the same time i have to kind of battle through all this bullshit like it's not my fault but at least it is my responsibility for me to take charge to own up to it and to do the work and i think those are the biggest moments that what led me to where i am today i think if it wasn't for these things i probably wouldn't be in in, in making these videos i probably wouldn't read books i probably wouldn't be educating myself every now and then become a lifelong learner and i know like you may be thinking that i sound very selfish in most of my videos and i am selfish i admit i am very fucking selfish but because this is this video is basically for my younger self this is a video not just for you guys but for myself too this is just like a journal to me because if i ever need if i ever felt any sort of like a loss or loneliness or ever felt like some sort of pain there's gonna be moments where I also want to just watch one of my old videos, and I think it's one of those like big documentaries of like the moments where I just felt like I wanted to give up. So, and at the same time, I just want to change a kid's life from ever committing suicide because while these people are just partying and you know in universities and going to these fucking frat parties, it's just it gives me a huge understanding. Like while these guys are just doing what they want to do when just like going out and partying like what and there's just moments where i felt envious for these people like they go out they have a bunch of these people like around and i'm just like even while they're just partying and just doing some stupid shit i ask myself like why can't i just change a kid's life why can't i just make some kids life better why can't i just make a kid not ever think about wanting to commit suicide and not ever have to go through the same problems that i went through when i had to go through some sort of loneliness when i had to you know feel more 
you know, destructible and I wanted to just crush someone's soul spiritually. It's just at the same time, yeah, you need to actually wield your shadow, but you just need to have this huge understanding of who you are. And that's why I always have a journal because when I always journal, journaling has always helped me to kind of just study myself more. And people are just so scared to just be honest with themselves and speak out loud to themselves because they often think that people, what other people would just pr portray of them, you know? So it's, I'm, I'm just grateful for my own insecurities and I'm always very insecure of life. And that's the reason why a lot of people just don't like me to who I am because I always lie a lot back like in high school years and I would just like put myself in my own bubble and just be more insecure throughout my entire life. And I think that really leads to inauthentic decisions because like I said, inauthentic decisions are caused by fear. Authentic decisions are caused by love. And at the same time, you need to as well wield some sort of anger and hate at the world if you ever feel like this huge loneliness and that everyone has already achieved more than you. You should feel more angry. Like it's it's not fucking easy, but it's hard. But like you should feel a little bit more resentment, but not to the point where you have to like express it. Like you also have to have it inside of you. Like, do you ever really ever see me just express it out of anger, like be so angry screaming. Like that's not me. I'm not like that because I know and I accept the, the consequences and I deserve the consequences of my own actions that I've misled to. And I don't blame the whole like external thing. Like part of it was my fault for being lonely and for being where I am because I chose to just be in solitude. I chose to just be alone for a while and just cut all the bullshit. Like I even like deleted my Snapchat account and just like and said fuck off with these people because I felt so traumatized and, like back in my Snapchat years. So all I can understand you is just like go out into the wilderness go out with people go choose your friends set your standards high it's like you want to set yourself some standards in some relationship and the woman or in the guy that you want to be with you got to set yourself some standards so i understand that you feel more alone and lost but just go out go out like go on some weekly adventure like i don't give a fuck about this mug mug bullshit like this mug mug bullshit is stupid because you're boring you're literally boring like if you're literally gonna post like, if you were to literally go on some Tinder date and you literally post a picture of you, like a mirror picture, right? Who's gonna wanna fucking date you? You're fucking boring. You're fucking boring. So go out, explore, travel, and just meet people who you can relate to, like always. And later on, new people will come to your life. Don't just expect to just accept everyone in your life. Like school has wired you into just like, oh yeah, let's accept everyone else. Like, shut up, shut up. Just go out and I'm tired of this bullshit of like these self-help gurus will be like, oh yeah, let's accept everyone else and be friends with everyone. Like, shut up. If you have respect, you have to respect yourself first. And I have more respect for myself and I always choose people that I want to be with. That's why I always keep my circle so tight. So, yeah. So just if you ever felt this point of loss or like destruction or pain, agony, mental agony, to just write yourself down. Like have a journal. Just write stuff about how you feel, and just talk to yourself. Or maybe even record a video in front of the camera and just talk to yourself. Like you don't always have to just journal. It's just like write down about like what you want to write down right so you can just simply just record a video and just talk to yourself aloud and this is how i journal i guess so i just hope that i can just go out and just see the world differently i know like you feel more socially anxious and i know you feel socially you feel more uncomfortable socially anxious but i understand that because the world is so misguided they just want to just they want us to lose. They People want us to lose. People just want to make you feel angry. People just want to see you get pissed off because the game of, of, of life, the game of power is also part of controlling your emotions. And the only way to win is just to remain more stoic and not to express out of emotion, not to get angry, not to cry, not to bitch, not to moan, not to complain. So just listen and just go out but trying to resist it because you can't because you have to understand you can't control people you can't control people's words so if you say the things that is based upon your right then you're right 
All right, so that is actually it for the video. I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.